Are you afraid of being alone in the dark? Welcome back guys, it's the Raw Geek here. Yes, that's a picture of a movie called Alone in the Dark. A really bad movie based on a popular game series. And this is the movie from 2005 from a director kind of infamous for doing bad movies and as you can see it got it's got a rating of 2.4 out of 10 it is genuinely awful I have watched it I watched it when it first came out because I knew about the game series I've played it uh, especially certainly the, the PSX release and uh, I thought it was awful then and yes it is really bad and this is the game series in question here on Wikipedia not that anything Wikipedia says can be trusted they've got no credibility but I'm fairly sure this will be quite accurate uh, Alone in the Dark, 1992 was its original release, it was a PC game, and there have been quite a few, and then The New Nightmare was the one, it was basically a reboot, you know, a reboot of the series they released out on PSX or PS1 or whatever you want to call it, PlayStation 1. And basically, as it says here, Alone in the Dark is a survival horror video game series originally developed by Infogrames. There you go. The original story is based on the writings of HP Lovecraft, so it's that kind of feel to it. Uh, later games and series drew inspiration from other sources including Voodoo, The Wild West, and the works of H.R. Geiger. And you may be wondering, okay, but why? Why did you show me that picture of the movie, which is not even what you're talking about really, it's about the games. Well, it's because there's a new game. See, see there's methods to my madness, you see, this is about a new game. There is a trailer, an announcement trailer for uh, basically another reboot of the series, I, I, I suspect, uh, for Alone in the Dark, so we're going to check that out. So yes, this is Alone in the Dark announcement trailer play may contain content appropriate for children. The following in-game footage may contain maddening and or haunting images. Your discretion is advised. There is a house in New uh, That's not normal. Oh, that's a strange girl. Uh, you okay there? <laughs> no, don't do that. Not creepy at all. THQ Nordic and Pieces Interactive present. Sour, they're not the good guy. Dorsetto isn't cursed or blessed. It's a battleground. Maybe the dark man just likes it when you suffer. Uh oh. Have you ever talked to a doctor about your condition? <laughs> this is madness. Oh, that's cool. That's good. Oh, hey. Ooh. <laughs> Welcome to the madhouse, detective. Thanks. <coughs> Thanks for that. It says here, not all remakes are received well, but we're hopeful for the reimagining of the 1990s Alone in the Dark franchise. Travel to the Roaring Twenties in the southern United States to uncover a mystery at a gothic manor that harbours secrets around every door. THQ Nordic will be publishing this game on a variety of platforms in the future at some point. Right, so that's why I didn't see a date. No confirmed release date. Okay, fine. And this is just some pre-alpha footage playing in the background. It looks cool. It looks weird. It's It reminds me of The Evil Within. It's that kind of style. I mean, it's a survival horror game, so of course there's lots of elements like that. You know, you could say it was like Resident Evil or Silent Hill. And we saw the puzzle stuff. So it very much does look like one of our modern Resident Evil games we now have. Or like I say, The Evil Within. And I love those games, so that sounds good to me. It looks a little bit less kind of horrific as one of those. You know, some of these enemies look a bit more... Not cartoony, but it's that kind of feel, so I think it's more accessible to maybe slightly younger people than usual, but certainly does look creepy. But yeah, I wanted to bring that to you because as you know I like a horror game, and I like showing them off, and I do plan to play one or two or three in October. It'll be cooler then because it's a bit hot at the moment <laughs> in, you know, in, in my flat to be doing gameplay recordings. Um, but yeah, probably October I'll be doing a few of those, and I expect when that comes out I'll check that out as well. And before I go, I just wanted to talk quickly about the movie Prey, because I did do a few videos on you know, the teaser trailer and the story and all that kind of stuff, and it's been out now for, what, 
one, maybe two weeks, something like that, on streaming services on Hulu and Disney Plus, and I thought it was really cool. I, I did genuinely really enjoy the movie. I, I think it made sense that it wasn't a cinema release because it's not. It wasn't that kind of budget, but it was. It was a really good movie. So I'm not too sure why people were, were panning it beforehand, or I don't know what they've said now. Maybe they've gone, oh yeah, it is good. I don't, I've not really checked out what people have been saying about it, but I personally thought it was good, so I'd recommend it to you. There is one gripe I had, and this is spoilers, so you know, don't listen if you don't want to be spoiled if you've not seen it yet or whatever. But it's to do with the flintlock pistol, which I mentioned in some of my videos, because that was seen at the end of Predator 2, and it has some origins in the comics where you see Adelini, a pirate, who fought alongside the Predator, give it to the Predator as he's dying. But in the movie, it's just owned by one of these French-Canadian trappers, and the girl, you know, the main character, gets it, uh, and you see it at the end, she, she owns it at the end. So I kind of didn't like that they kind of retconned that part of the comics, because you know, I'd like to think that was canon, and the comics explanation of it was far better, was far cooler. But, you know, it was, it is what it is. But at least it did have that pistol to tie it to the rest of at least the movie franchise, which was pretty cool. And there is like a hint at the end that maybe there could be sequels, because you see in like drawings, you see a few more ships come, and they're obviously coming to see what's happened. You know, where, where's our predator? how did he die? Who killed him? Maybe we should go hunting there, that kind of thing. So presumably that's how the, the Predators then get hold of the pistol, or Yautja is their, their real name, but I don't expect you to be a big, a big geek about that, but that's the real name of them. But yeah, I really liked it, so if you like the Xeno universe, you know, aliens, Predator, or Yauchas, whatever, then uh, check it out, it's really good. But yeah, that about do it for this one, so yeah, thanks for watching and I hope you're doing well. So guys, if you like that, please click like, make sure you subscribe for more videos like this, I'll see you on the next video, and until then, remember, it's not fun being alone in the dark, is it? No. Okay. Bye. Guys, if you're still here, you're awesome! Uh, but as you are still here, why not check out some of my other videos? Oh, and if you haven't already, please click subscribe. Laters, haters.